Dear brothers and sisters, Salam Alaikum. My name is Almedina Kunic. I'm the International Women Secretary of the Revolutionary Communist International Tendency. Today, on the 8th September of 2018, we are here in Vienna. We are near to the rally of uh, the Syrian uh, migrant community in Vienna, who are since many years organizing demonstrations, organizing rallies in support of the Syrian revolution. In few minutes, this rally will start here. Um, so allow me to speak some words to our heroic brothers and sisters in Syria itself. Today, the offensive in Idlib may start against the heroic freedom fighters, against the heroic rebels in Idlib, in Syria. Russian troops may already started to attack and to kill not only dozens, but hundreds and thousands of freedom fighters. Assad may try to just roll over uh, Idlib and just smash everything down. We, as the RCT, as the Revolutionary Communists, stay in full solidarity with the people fighting against the dictatorship of Bashar al-Assad, with the Syrian freedom fighters fighting against the imperialist troops, not only against the Russian imperialist troops, but also against the Lekis, the Iranian troops, against the US troops, who are again and again and again trying to, to gain influence in Syria. Today is a very important and historic day. Comrades, brothers and sisters, I myself, I'm from Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. In the 1990s, there was a very bloody civil war going on in my home country. And we had to learn a lot of lessons, brothers and sisters, that I want to share with you today on this very important day. We've learned the very first lesson, never trust the imperialists, never trust the friends of the imperialists and the lackeys of the imperialists. The second thing we have learned in the Bosnian civil war on a very bloody way is Never let you disarmed. Never let anybody disarm you. Um, and the third very important thing we had uh, learned bitterly is never stop, never stop the fight for freedom. Never stop the fight for peace. Brothers and sisters, there are a big danger today. One very big danger is that the imperialist troops just smash everything and disarm the rebels. In Bosnia, the rebels were disarmed. Um, there was an agreement, the European Union said, we will just uh, protect you, uh, let yourself disarm and we will evacuate you uh, and you will, be, uh, you will be in a free space, in a safe place. And what happened after that was Srebrenica, the bloodiest massacre in Europe since the end of World War II. And it was the disarmament before <laughs> that opened the door for this massacre. So I really recommend to all freedom fighters, fight to the end, don't give away your arms, we'll need them, we'll need them, if not today, you will need them tomorrow, you will need them the next years. The other point is to never stop the fight for the revolutionary freedom fight, the revolutionary struggle. Because if you stop the fight, you will lose everything. The Syrian people, they are fighting in so many years heroically for the freedom and even even if Idlib may be destroyed even if the freedom fighters may receive a severe setback they should we should never we should never give up we should keep the fighting we should go into our underground we should keep the cells we should keep organizing ourselves in order to regain strength in order to fight back again um, will it be tomorrow, will it be in one year, will it be in, in five years, whatsoever. But we should never stop organizing ourselves, we should never stop arming ourselves, we should never stop being prepared for the next step in the struggle for freedom. I hope um, that uh, all brothers and sisters uh, in Idlib and in Syria as such, who are fighting so heroically, against uh, the troops of Assad, against the Russian troops, against the Iranian troops, and so on and so forth. I hope that these brothers and sisters, that you, brothers and sisters, can, can win 
Idlib back, that you can hold Idlib, that it can be the heart, stay the heart of the rebel forces. But even if you're not succeeding in, 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 in this struggle for today, please never give up the struggle on the long run. I send you the best regards, the revolutionary greetings from the RCIT. Um, bear in your mind all the heroic freedom fighters all around the world who are with you. Bear in your mind to learn from those who have always kept the struggle up, whatever happened. Learn from our Palestinian brothers and sisters who are still fighting for the freedom of Palestine after not only years but decades of oppression, of apartheid um, by the state of Israel um, and by the imperialist powers. So brothers and sisters, um, stay strong. We are with you. We will organize and organize again and again rallies, activities, meetings in order to support you. Uh, please keep up your fight. We are with you. We send you our best regards. Um, this is it. Thank you very much.